Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, classic real-time strategy title. We're playing uh, as the Republic, because we're playing Fall of the Republic, a total conversion mod. Brings it into the Clone Wars era, getting toward the end of the campaign. I'm going to talk to uh, Corey Loses about maybe enabling the Cruel AI button. I'm on the fence, though, and I'm curious what you guys think in, uh, in the comments. I'll read this over on YouTube once this goes live. Uh, if we should do it or not, because part of me is like, yeah, make it a little harder or maybe really hard. And then part of me is like, but I kind of want this campaign to come to a close so we can start a new one in potentially a different mod until this one gets a major update and we'll come back to it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, for now, let's get back into it. We have, well, we've just taken and it was a, kind of a fun battle. We, we hard rushed it. Uh, Mathir here. We've got Jabim blockaded, and we need to do a ground invasion, but we're pushing for Mon Cala. And that is what we're going to do today, get to Mon Cala. So what I think I'm going to do is hit, because this is what, Yalaren's fleet too, right? Yeah, this is Yalaren's fleet. I think I'm going to take Yalaren. I'm going to leave them where they are. I'm going to gather our forces here. These are all ground troops. Awaiting your order, sir. Huge ground army that we've got. Of the 212. I can see Anakin's influence on you. Oh, we need to make sure we've got... We do. We have somebody in fleet lead, but the wrong person in fleet lead. His sensor range is kind of crap. Where? What? Is there somewhere you'd rather uh, enemy be? fleet is about to invade Osama Tsutami and Balmar. Wait, how, how? Oh, they got through. How did you get through? Tactical battle imminent. It's just a space station. Auto resolve. Balmar. Where is that? In the south. Because we've left our back door open. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Moving to take these planets, we've actually left an opening. We need to get more reinforcements up there. So we'll auto-resolve that. We'll get a fleet up there as quickly as possible. Anchors away. Come with me. Yes, sir. Come with me. Come on, come on, come on. Quat, you're still building? Constructing missiles at the ready. Let's go. Tactical battle imminent. Up. Oh. Boss Pity is now under attack. So suddenly... The AI has awoken and is coming out swinging in every direction. They even have brought a fleet to Jabim. How big is that space station? Can we fight this? It's a tier two, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tier two. Um, uh, You know what? I think we can fight this. Because I'd rather not have to pull a fleet back. No, spa no space stations. Yeah, that's the problem. We moved, we, we took over an area and moved our fleet away immediately, and they just immediately sent another fleet through before we could send anything in, so. Upgrade in progress. Do some upgrading. I think we're going to get a pair of dreadnoughts, and depending on how fast the enemy comes in, and I will fast forward this, we might be able to fight it. Fighters, fighters, fighters. Another consular class. Come on, give me, there we go. Two dreadnoughts. Awaiting your order, sir. Complete. We cannot let those enemy fighters through. I recommend we deal with them first. It doesn't take much to kill the space stations, and those are our respawns, so. Upgrade complete. Coming back around for another run. Target locked. Mm, these are the missile variants. Yeah, these are the hard cell missile variants. Come on, guys. Take out those fighters. Getting a lock. Target locked. That takes care of that one. Okay, here we Ready go. For We're gonna break off. Heading for attack take out the escort fleet first. I might be small, but I pack a punch. Take your oh, engines uh, on. If they want to waste their missiles on us, that's fine. Copy that, sir. Get out of there, boys. Standing now come by. back in. Engaging. At your command. We need those missile platforms Target destroyed. Come on, don't let them get away. Power. You can kill these really fast. Ah, there you go. Good, 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 good. Any more reinforcements? Public light corvetting. Responding. Yes, sir. Focus fire on Almost that got target. Almost got him. Come on, is it enough damage? Ah, oh, we missed. Prepare for combat. Ready to command. Prepare for combat. He's so mad. Cannons charge. Switch targets. Oh, one of them hyped out. Nice. Be able to destroy you pretty easily. They're very lightly armored. Take out that extra damage that they've got. Now we can switch over to the next. Escort. Let's go ahead and overload the weapons on this. He might try to run. No, he just launched more fighters. Moving to attack. Yeah, I think we got this. Uh, maybe not actually. That frigate just arrived. Go for his engines. Enemy 
slow him down. Nice. Not going anywhere fast now. The frigate is actually going to be able to take, take us out. Awaiting Unless we start orders, moving sir. around him and get away from that big gun. I think his forward gun only can fire forward. On my way, Commander. He can only fire straight out. Sir, we've lost you on the sensors. Come on, mate. We'll hold this position until you return. Screw Hold diplomacy. That. Just fire. <laughs> Screw just diplomacy. Just, just fire. fire. I like it. At your command. That's another YouTuber, isn't it? Targeting at maximum fire. Doing that voice. Light Corvette here. Ready to command. Sounds arrive. familiar. I don't know who that is. Though. Falling out of formation. Our hull is near critical. Charged. Ah, oh, it's one of X friends. Okay. Fire. We'll crush those scum. Ah, where's that big heavy ion cannon? All right, stop taking away my damage. Destroyed. Where's your ultra heavy turbo laser cannon? Take that out. Come on. We might lose this still. Bring in the new B wing or BTL. That is not a BTL. Are we gonna? Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna get reinforcement. Oh, we did. We totally got another dreadnought. Oh, we won. That's gonna be the win right there. That dreadnought showing up, and that means we're probably gonna get one more dreadnought. I wouldn't be surprised. The venerable dreadnought. We should probably. I got that missile boat first. Ready for attack orders. Go after the stragglers. You're falling apart. Sir, we are not your enemy. At your command. Come on. They ran. Hmm. Well, that'll save us some trouble later. We need to get that reinforcement fleet moving. Now, where did they hit us? They hit us at the Roche Asteroid Belt again. So let's bring these guys Damn it. Damn, I've got to get that fleet there. I need to bottle them back up in this section. Anyways, Obi-Wan, Yolaren, the largest fleet that we have access to. Oh no. Oh no, I brought the wrong fleet in. Overconfidence is a weakness. I brought in the largest ground army, or they've attacked a planet with it. <laughs> Whoops. We'll be able to fall back before they get within range, but look at all the transports. You can win this? Uh, no. No, I can't. Look at the fleet formation first. There are three donuts here. For three. For jump to hyperspace. You have the cannon fodder. We have enough ground forces that we could probably like hit one of those donuts and take it over. If that was a mechanic we could do. Falling back. We are noping out of this fight. You fighters yeah, they attacked us. That wasn't us. You okay. can't win that way against a strong opponent. Now let's do this. See how we need to move in fast. Look how fast they're producing ships. We were talking about enabling cruel AI. Might not be necessary. I feel like I've woken them up now. Death by a thousand transports. The enemy fleet has moved away. Decoding transmission. I'm doing this right away this time. The enemy fleet has mostly moved away. It's just the donuts now. I think you wanted that other ship. Let me just there. drop a couple mines right here. All right. As you wish, General. Cannons charged. Their reinforcements are being depleted. Their reinforcements are being depleted. Raising anchors. In that nebula. Full steam ahead. You are, and let's get that commander Indeed. bonus, please. Let's try our ready. We'll beach them. They won't hold up much longer. All right, all units. Yes, General. Fire Focus on those ships. I'm bringing in fleet tenders now to help with the damage that we aren't suffering. What are they shooting at? No? Got me. Yes, sir. Clearing the waters. Clearing the waters. Good. Not over yet. All you want. 
Don't forget the act. Already done. Already have him, and the gravity mines are deployed. There is no escape. Now it's just chewing through 20,000 shields. I'm not sure what they're primary. The mine's taking some damage. Don't blow that up! <laughs> I mean, that's what you should be targeting if you want to run, but... They're learning. Guardsman fleet? No way. This fleet is perfect. It's just Venators for days. Their reinforcements are being depleted. Uh, back up there. One donut down. All target. forces There'd attack the other donut. Are there any transports that we need to make sure we grab? There is an enemy transport back there. On He's actually managed to pull back. I'm just going to order 11 squadrons of BTLs to go kill him. Or else we've destroyed the tech All bombers. No. I have a target for you. No kill like overkill. You find him. Is On the other side of the nebula. Yep, we got him. Probably got slapped by a uh, runaway turbo laser round. That isn't the fleet that was here a second ago. Awaiting your orders, sir. No way. How big is your fleet? 188 stack, huh? Get the ground forces nice moving. Move. Give me a space station. Begin you your invasion. No change the course oh, crap. of destiny. Nope. I need to do the ground invasion here still. Hmm. Tactical battle imminent. Let's see what we've got. Maybe we'll just blockade a few of these plants as we push for Mon Cala. How many ships? Is this where the enemy's been retreating to? No, it's not, Just and it has almost no defenses. Yes, General. Let's get that Venator in its wing up here, and then let's All just engage. Primary the space station so I can bring in troops closer. Understood. Ready to update orders. There's the order. As soon as the station is dead. Well, yes. As soon as both stations we are dead. Level them. Hold They're respond. not going anywhere. Stay in formation. Oh, you won. You're not getting away. Bring in the assault ships. We we to go sometime. Still out of firing range? Yes. Charging Come on, you can do this. Get closer. Nice. Destroyer ready. On my way, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Understood. All agreed. We are moving out. It does feel like the end of a of a campaign, right? Dropping out of hyperspace, being overly aggressive. Engines active. Making sure none of the separatists okay. escape. I already got a mine down. Which is weird. Did they take out the mine? They were trying to retreat. They must have taken it out. Okay, so. I think we're ready for the 212th to hit the deck here. And then it's on to Mon Cala. Well, Building under construction. I need to start putting these space stations down. And the first thing we're going to do right now is bring those reinforcements up. And shore up our line behind no us. Problem. Go ahead, ahead and come on in. 212th, begin your invasion. invasion We're going to go heavy artillery if we've got the equipment. The squad stands together. Fight sweep, I've got point. Win the battle by just taking out the enemy. Yeah. Yes. Big shocker there. We'll grab some. Choose your reinforcements. Hmm. Actually, it's open enough. I might be able to just run an A6 and. Defensive position. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Capacity. 
That's what we're gonna try. Turret constructing. I was gonna go full on artillery, but One, two, three. with the rain and the oh, it's laser accuracy only. Okay, it'd be kind of neat if the rain threw off artillery. The ability for the artillery to aim properly. All right, everybody in. Everybody in. So you could have two full A6s. If you own a secondary drop point. I've gave him the order to move. He has not done so. Well, wait a minute. They, they put it into gear. They're moving. I'm hoping the A6 can survive this. I, the A6 cannot survive this. The A6 cannot survive this. And neither can the clones if they drop out right now. They don't have a choice. They can't drop! Because they're stuck in the... Ah, at least it dropped all of them. All clones fall back. Pathfinding. The bane of my existence, pathfinding. All clones fall back. You got to get out of there. You need to spread out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Reinforcements on route. Okay, we hold. Artillery is on route, but you have to hold a bit longer. We ran them right into the doom. Look at that. Oh, wow. We need artillery so bad right now. One, two, three. Dig in. All right. Artillery is opening up. You've got like a minute and a half until we have a bombing run. We just have to hold until then. More clones. A6 went from here to here, got stuck at a tree, and then found out that it was just going to be gunned down by that nonsense. Oh, that sucks. That is so rough. All right, every one of you move over this way. Bombing run's almost ready. At the moment, they're burning a village, so... Wow. I don't know what route they're going to take. I'm going to block it. Oh, that looks good. Could this be the greatest bombing run we've ever had? The alignment looks really good. Here it comes. Yes! All the way? Every single one of them. All clones. Oh, there were two clone units that were in that village fighting. We're moving out. Now's our chance. The entire enemy, like, heavy armor group is dead. That That is the highest credit drop we've ever had. Don't, don't even stop. No reason. Don't even stop. The artillery will kill them for you. <laughs> Triple kill. And we're in firing range of the artillery, so we're literally going to run in here, and we're just going to hold position. I could use another rocket here. Rocket Troopers, I like your enthusiasm. I don't like the fact that you love being in the front. Enemy armor approaching. We haven't captured yet. I can't bring in reinforcements. Now I can. The revenge of the A6. I think I taught you a little too well. Why are you so sick? Transports are open up. Hi, boys. Oh, man. <laughs> Isn't it stressful? I think we're about to have a drop, too. Yeah. Orbital drop right there. Wise cracks will not help you on the battlefield. There's a great piece of art of a drop pod that's built, straight up built for an ATST. I don't know if it was from a comic book or where it's from, or it's just a fan-made thing. Uh, I actually used it for my tabletop game. The first boss 
I guess you could say boss that my that my players ever fought against was a drop shipped ATS or drop potted ATST from orbit. The idea being that nothing else was able to get through the planets or the city's um, air defenses, right? And they had a uh, anti starship weapon, something like a hyper velocity cannon. So the Empire's grand plan was we need to take that gun out, so let's do a hot drop of ATSTs in these metal boxes, basically. And it became a great moment because the players immediately kind of recognized that, like, wait a minute. Let's get the uh, Jedi on there. They can crush that. The players were like, wait a minute. These ATSTs would never have been able to take out the big gun. Um, they're, they're not well armed enough, and there's no way they could even get through the city streets to do it. Uh, because the gun was like up in this huge building. It was a distraction. And so it led to a great like secondary portion of the boss fight where they, they, they stopped the ATST attack, but then they had to find out what they did, what, what the distraction was about. And it was, you know, I said it's six, that sucks. Um, and it was a storm commando team had infiltrated where the, uh, the controls were for the hyper velocity gun. And so, of course, they lost contact with the gun crew. That was one of my, I think that was one of the funnest moments that we've had. So we're wrapping up this big story, the intro to the campaign. Of course, the ATSTs, they weren't like fighting four players versus, you know, these walkers. Um, they had, they had uh, other units with them, giving them a hand. Because they're not, you know, they're not super powered. They don't have godlike powers. Well, okay, so the Roche Asteroid Belt, the reinforcements have arrived. Uh, the enemy is still there, and they've got those bulwarks. We're going to find out a little bit more about those units. I want to see how truly tanky they are. Ooh, and since your reinforcements, I didn't set a point man, so they might just retreat. Give me a target. I'm pretty sure I've got the advantage here. Oh, yeah. Anchors away. Fleet's on the move. Do you guys record your Star Wars D&D campaign? Uh, our tabletop campaign it doesn't actually use the D&D system. There is a conversion out there to turn, uh, I want to say it's 5e into a Star Wars campaign. It's not super detailed. Uh, it's like just enough. You can throw some classes and stuff, but, uh, no, the FFG campaign that we're playing, we don't, we don't record it. We might record the next one though. Whenever this one wraps up. Yeah, I moved, I moved them, but I didn't yes, send the uh, fighters. Fighters break off on your own. He's got two engine points. Is this Mark 1 or Mark 2? It's the Mark 1. So the Mark 1 only has 3,500 health. Aye. Aye. Yes, Admiral. Cannon Let's go. Loaded. I don't, I think they're going to run, which I'd, I'd be fine with because they'd run all the way back to where my bigger fleets are since we blockaded everything else. They've fallen all the way back. Okay, scratch that. Do not engage. BTLs, do not engage, fighters. B wings, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and fight that. You can win that, Buzzball. Maybe. That is a lot of death. I, I do have this fast forward right now. As we we win the battles and the generals take the credit. That sounds right. Oh, yeah, don't ever do spectator cam or cinematic camera when fast forwarding it does not like that Let's blow do we have up. any we do not have any pelters so i can't stop them from retreating we have a duty. i can go kill a bunch of transports go get those gazantes the and i say in quotations gunships <laughs> sure all right, swing up. You have to engage at the same time. So you're telling me that the Bulwark has more armor than the Providence? Doesn't the Providence just look like a tanky beast, though? I don't, it just looks so solid. Did you hear that Corey wants to get you and a few other guys to do a tabletop series? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting on, like, the details for that. That's been in kind of the pseudo plan for a while now. Raising anchors. Missile tubes loaded. 
Yeah, I'm good. Moving up. I'll be down. Yeah. Sounds like a blast. That sounds like a blast. I love seeing how other people GM. It changes your game by so much. Like how how do you get the experience? How the story is told? What kind of rules do they use? Because FFG doesn't kind of spell out all of the rules. You gotta kind of make up your own style to it. Your pacing is different for every GM. Oh man, yeah. Probably should have gone after the Providence first because I think it has more in the way of weaponry. It does have more weaponry, but the bulwark has heavy turbo lasers, which we don't actually see that often in this, it's really weird, but is what it is. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, well, he's not getting away. All right, switch targets. Let's take that Providence out. Ooh, we should definitely start taking out the engines. Remember, they can get away if they want to. Now they can't. Right, let's get you two turned about. Man, they're actually doing a number on us. We're going to win this, but well, they came close. Half damage on one victory, half damage on the other. Keep chasing. Let's keep pushing. I think these are free frigates, so I'm not super worried about taking the engines out, but we might as well try just in case. Take out their hyperdrive. Beautiful. And the planet is ours. Well, at least the orbit is. Did they manage to retreat to here? You're getting a tier three space station so you can actually defend yourself. And we need to clean them out from behind us, but I kind of want to keep pressing. I kind of want to just hit Mon Cala. Yularen, where is Yularen? This is ground forces. Is Yul... No, Yularen's a lot. Oh, he must be en route somewhere. Where did I give orders to who? What, what have I done? Building started. I'm giving you hypervelocity cannon. Building started. There he is. We did give orders to move out already. Perfect. So Yalaren's ready to hit one planet away from Mon Cala. Enemy movement. Haynes, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't. So the, the idea is, hey, you should turn on, if you're winning this much, you should turn on Cruel AI. I mean, I could, but do I really want to slow down the campaign anymore? There's no more that I'm going to see except for maps at this point. So. On our way. Destroyer holding. Ooh. Let them come. Oh man, they've actually got like a proper Choose space station back there. And I don't think I can come in the hyperspace anywhere else. If we're like way back here. <laughs> I want to bring in 22 Arquintins. Understood, we're moving out. Copy that, sir. Are they two or four? They're four. Yes, sir. We're on the move. For the Chancellor. Sure. Indeed. I just want these guys to be buffed. That's why I brought in Yalaren. Republic light cruiser. Understood, we're moving out. What you guys do it over there. You're fine. I'll give you some anti-fighter capability. Basically, I'm going to surround you with missile boats. There. It's surrounded for missile boats. It's fine. And then I'll put a heel behind you. I'll put in two heels behind you. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, I missed three. Hang on a second. I'm going to bring them all in. Oh, this is ridiculous. Is there enough to kill everything in front of us? 
All right, the order's been given, but not to all of them. Oh my God. Hang on, wait a minute. You gotta get a, you gotta get a view on this. Yes. We gotta get a view from like the farthest off our Quinton so we can look over and see all, yeah, and see all of them. <laughs> How many turbo lasers is that, right? Cause they get, they get a pair of them on the top. Goodbye shipyard. And then as soon as the shipyard is down, I can bring in an entire re reinforcement fleet right behind them. Understood. We're moving out. Okay. How you doing? Uh, your shields are fine. And most of their fighters are probably missing the vast majority of their squads. And it gives us missiles. Let's get Yolaren down here. Da-dum, 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 da-dum. The back of the group. Enemies in range. Got the captain. Our Quinton's here. This is just ridiculous. Sir, we're on your side. You're not gonna be able to bring ships back here to respond to this. And if you even did, I can just run away. I've got my engine boost. Target their laser cannons. All you want. Ah, lovely. And the station is down. Reinforcements can now arrive. Nice. Let's go after the last ones. There is a golden platform. I guess we could rush over there and kill it. Coming about. That's 88 guns, Jack. 88 guns. Oh, between all of the, uh, the Arquintons, huh? Indeed. I'm alright with that. I am okay with that. He's just fighters back there. There it is. Just send some more Venators at it. It'll fix everything. Insanity, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. How are you doing? You're still building everything. You're building. You're digging in. Right? No. No, you're not. Building under construction. Okay. All right. All right. So, Mace and the rest of the ground forces. Let's go. Uh, roast asteroid belt. Are you kidding me? Auto resolve. Good. Thank you for not losing. Thank you for not losing a victory class to a couple of diamond cruisers. I actually expected that to happen. Uh, looks like Ren Var. They've snuck behind us. I say I say that in quotations. Snuck behind us. We we kind of left. Transports, transports. They're already in place. Transport ready. Transport Start moving away. In. Away. And retreat. Retreat in progress. Which direction are you heading? Oh, you're heading here. Perfect. We'll use those ground troops and just hit the planet. Okay, you come with me. Prepare for the invasion. We're going to move our actual fleet. So we're going to hit Mon Cal. Our ground troops will arrive after this and we'll do the invasion. What? All they've got is a shipyard? No way. We fought tooth and nail to get to Mon Cala, And for some reason... Oh, we didn't have a fleet lead. He must have died in the last battle or something. And for some reason, I expected this monstrosity of a battle, this just crazy fight. I'm here. And we get here, Give me an order. and I can probably Yon win it Dodonna, with just my fighters. Sir. I'm here. Our Quintons here. And 14 Arquintons, because Arquintons. All power to the engines. 
I bring anything? Oops. No. Oops. Well, the fleet is on the move. Yeah, I felt like an armada would have been waiting for you. Yeah, I thought so too, but I guess not. I get that Mon Cal was neutral in the Clone Wars Standing series. By. But one of the biggest battles of the Clone Wars actually ended up going down there, so I thought there might be something, but apparently not. I'm here. General Dodonna moving out. Wow. I am shocked. Yeah, in neutral except for one of the one of the factions that were on there, but they weren't building anything there. They were trying to sign on the Quarians. Which we might be able to take out before they spawn too much? Nope. Ooh, that's a lot of ships. We might be small, but we pack a punch. Go north, go north, yes, go north. Sir. We're on the move. I like that we've got this huge missile battle, group sir. behind them as well. You've got the captain. Uh, we didn't All kill it. Fire. We didn't actually kill it. Fire on that target. Switch targets. Prepare for combat. Yeah, we're going in. And then all of my missile boats target that. See what kind of damage you can do to it. Yeah, we're taking it out. Come on, you gotta you gotta kill that space station. And you got it. Can we win this? I'm not I'm not sure. We did manage to take the shields down. Go for the engines. If I lose enough ships, I can bring in reinforcements. Oh, they're trying to retreat. Focus your fire on the engines. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. These are all free units because all they had was a space station when we arrived. There's your armada. Eh, it's just a capital ship uh, detachment. That wasn't like a proper armada. All right. Well, we've managed to get here. Maybe the ground battle will be a little crazy. Ground forces are already en route. We'll do the ground invasion as soon as they get here. Well is about to be hit. How are you doing on your starship production? Yeah, you worked on it. Building started. And you get a hypervelocity cannon. Started. Then you get a hypervelocity cannon. Complete. And you. Construction complete. It moves here. This is the world. So close to the dark side. We're hitting it. We're invading Moncala. You need to pull back from the planets that are not worth keeping and build up. Do we really need to build up? Do we feel like we don't have a massive army already? Like we drilled, go! One, two, three. I think like Choose the number we've got, we could lose this army three times and still have enough to drop a full team. Point, I've got point. I'm gonna try to sprint. Right, sprint, 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 sprint. See if we can hot drop right here. With the recon. It's that close to our spawn point, we might be able to make it. Oh, you were giving somebody else advice. Yeah, getting started, it's a great idea. Especially if you're playing Awakening of the Rebellion. For Clone Wars, this for this mod, doesn't seem like it, but for definitely like Awakening of the Rebellion, pulling back from planets that aren't strategically valuable is key. Especially on the harder difficulties to survive. You know, picking where you're fighting, picking and choosing those battles. He doesn't like you. Let's grab this. Now, oh, look at this. Does this look familiar? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Now, oh, that's not what I wanted to build, but I will. All right, Obi-Wan. You're enjoying this too much, Mace. I think. Construction complete. No. Reinforcements We're gonna go phase twos. Go. Phase go. twos. Phase go. twos. Phase go. twos. Uh, and then we're gonna go for complete. some artillery to hold Nine. position. Give that security force some love. Hey, I kind of like that there's two security force units that are still alive. Those are starting units that I can't actually train who have made it through the entire campaign. Wisecracks will not help you on the battlefield. Uh, I expect you say more that. from you. Much more. You say that. I should have done artillery and it would have been right out of the first episode. All right, here we go.
You can sell anything. Yeah, I could sell them. Not not going to, but I could. Seems a bit unnecessary. Sensor node constructing. Squad Grab this, and we can use it as a uh, reinforcement point. So all we have to do is hold this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Construction complete. All right, clones. God, how many of them are there? An army of your kind might pose a challenge to the Jedi. Yes! One, Enemy two, three. Had enough, old boy? Go get him, Obi-Wan. Why Khan wanted to reform the Jedi Order, not destroy it. Turret constructing. Dig it in. Where is Mace? It takes a lot you need to run. You need to run right now. Where is your focus? Sorry to disappoint you, but you can't win this fight. We have to hold. We have to get in there. Yes, he does have crush. Nice. He also has force push. And secure. Sort of. Somebody's still shooting at us. Give me a couple of rockets over there. Oh, he's dead. Where are the rest of those troops? On the way. I love having these columns. Very cool. Reinforcements are en route. You are a welcome addition to the Jedi Council. Yeah, let me get you all up here. Right out. Yes. Whoever you are, you are well versed in the Jedi arts. Now we hold. Turret constructing. One, two, three. Hey, Nuki World. Thank you for the tier one. Shaq, join us on the dark side. Didn't we bring in two artillery pieces or like four of them? Oh, they're there. They're slow, but they get there. Construction complete. I think we're good. Moncala, not the fight I was expecting. You know what I was expecting? Like wave after wave of dread come running across this bridge. That's anticlimactic a bit, yeah. We have the upper hand. The victory is ours. So what would have been cool is to have Mon Cal troops in the battle and Quarians on the battle. All um, you know, split factions, right? And have a lot of them. Like they make more of a of an impact in the battle than your troops do. Would be pretty crazy. So, oh well. The planet is now under our control. We can start digging in immediately. Ooh. What can you build? Uh, Dreadnought Heavy Cruisers, Neutron Star, Victory Variants, Invincible Class. Alright. Nice. And Quell has once again been attacked. So, we will... I'm just gonna auto-resolve it, I think. Beginning. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna auto-resolve it. Do you ever get that hypervelocity cannon? No. I've yet to use a hypervelocity cannon in this. What I'm probably gonna do is let this fleet continue to blockade there till the hypervelocity cannon is done, and then rush over there and shoot them with it. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me as the campaign continues. Uh, we're still talking about doing the Empire campaign next for Awakening of the Rebellion. That'll probably be what we do, unless another big update comes out for one of the other mods. If you want to check out the mod, link is in the description. I will see you all in the next episode. Later, everybody.